Do you like the move to Foles uh, instead of Minshew that was just made about an hour before we started talking, Pat? Do you like that? Yeah, this is so interesting, right? Because, I mean, Houston Texans over there in uh, London Town, which, by the way, every time I get a chance to listen to you call a game with three other humans in the booth, which is not easy at all, you handle that thing in a beautiful fashion. I think you deserve a lot more credit than you get for calling games. Those waking up with you and the boys over there is is a thing of beauty I wish we could do more often. Bless you. Me too. Um, Thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. I mean, you had a couple slip-ups. Let's not say it was a perfect <laughs> game, but I mean... I... <laughs> Come on, man. You were kind to give me an, 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 a compliment. I accepted it with, I thought, with grace and just, you know, a little humility. And you don't need to point out that I thought, you know, Carlos Hyde was Duke Johnson. And, and it's tough to see when the hell Watson has the ball or not. And I'm 50 years old and it's Wembley's got 84,000 people in it. Come on, man. Oh, that's uh, funny. Rich, I thought you did great. Honestly, I thought you, uh, not your best stuff, but I thought you did really good. <laughs> wow. I did. I love it. I, I'm, Thank when you. I, well, you, Mooch, you, Mooch, Kurt, and Irv have a beautiful chemistry, and it's. I feel like I learn and I enjoy the game from a completely serious point. You do a great job in there. And with Gardner Minshew. Yes. I mean, this has been an interesting phenomenon here. I mean, let alone the jorts and the mustache and the incredible personality and the ability to win games for the Jaguars out of nowhere. They paid Foles a lot of money, and I think the Foles thing might go down as one of the most interesting careers in the history of a quarterback that has won a Super Bowl. I mean, most Super Bowl quarterbacks who are Super Bowl MVPs and everything like that, kind of a standard blueprint. You get drafted to a team, you do well there, you win, or you go to another team and you become the head guy and you win there. For him, it's just like he was never really the guy, and then he almost quit, had a kumbaya situation out in the woods with his brother-in-law, comes back, goes on this miraculous run. His organization says, we're going to go with the guy who always gets hurt over you, send him down to Jacksonville, he gets paid, then he gets hurt while playing very well, and another guy gets hot in his replacement. I mean, I don't know. I think you're off to a good start if you have Nick Foles, a quarterback. I think big Richard Nick can really do some things if he gets going, but I think Gardner Minshew is going to be a, uh, a pretty hot topic on the trade market this upcoming offseason if he's available. So I think the Jaguars got a lot to figure out, but a plethora of quarterbacks is not a bad thing to have. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.